Which is the best autoresponder or email marketing service to use and what do I use and recommend? That's today's question that we're going to answer in this video. Hello, I'm Shane Melach from imimpact.com and this is actually an answer to multiple questions of the same kind that I've gotten recently. Questions like, what autoresponder should I use? What autoresponder do you use and recommend? How does, let's say, Aweber compare to MailChimp or GetResponse or stuff like that, right? Questions about what kind of email marketing solution to use. Now, first, here's the very short version of my answer, which is that I currently use ActiveCampaign and I recommend using ActiveCampaign. That's my favorite one of all the ones I've tested and I can you know, give a warm recommendation. But I also wanna give you a bit more detail to this answer. And the first thing to look at when looking at email marketing solutions, to me, the most important things I look at are tagging, so the ability to apply tags to contacts and conditional logic in campaigns you build. So essentially, I want to have the ability to create if-then rules, right? If the contact has signed up and if they don't have this tag, then send this message, that kind of thing. Now, this is quite different from the older style of autoresponders that we've had, where everything is based on lists and everything is linear. So that's what it was like for the longest time, is that basically you have contacts and you can put them in separate lists and that's like putting just putting them in separate buckets, right? You just have a bucket with contacts and you can have a different bucket with different contacts. And for each of these buckets, you have a linear process, right? If someone ends up in this bucket A, they get on day one, they get this email, on day two, they get this email, on day three, they get this email and so on. And it's all just linear. So uh, there's no logic, there's no responding to whether or not someone actually reads your emails or whether or not someone clicks on links or whether or not someone buys something from you. Everybody just gets the same series of messages. This is something that I always found a bit strange because really you shouldn't be running your business like that at all. But like I said, for the longest time, most autoresponders were like that. What you wanna be able to do with an email marketing system is you wanna be able to differentiate not just people in different buckets, but the same people should have to have different aspects to them because someone can be at the same time someone who opted in th for your offer number one and also bought products two, three, and four. And you want to treat this person differently than someone who opted in to, off to free offers two and three and hasn't purchased anything yet, for example. And you can't just make a separation. As soon as you have more than one offer in your business, which by the way, you should have, as soon as you have more than one offer, you know, maybe one or two free offers and then one or two premium offers, this kind of separation into, into just different buckets where every person is just on, in one bucket and that's it, just doesn't work anymore. And with your follow-up emails, with how you essentially communicate with people on your mailing list, you also wanna have a deeper level of intelligence than just, you know, send this series of emails because if someone isn't actually reading your emails, then maybe you should stop sending them and try to reactivate that contact. And also, if you have a series of emails that are selling a specific product, then once someone buys that product, well, you should stop trying to sell them that product, right? And there are many other things where you wanna have this kind of overview where you can say, well, this kind of person has indicated interest in this kind of thing, and therefore, I'm going to send them this kind of message or I'm going to sell them this kind of product. This makes a huge difference to the effectiveness of your business. And that's why, uh, like I said, I look for the ability to add tags to contacts rather than separating them into lists. And I look for some kind of campaign builder with conditional logic. Now, lately, this has become more common. I think it's indicative that even Aweber, the absolute dinosaur of autoresponder systems, are now working on some kind of a campaign builder because times are changing and people have finally caught on to the fact that they should have a bit more intelligence in their email marketing. Now the companies that take this kind of thing really seriously that I know off the top of my head are ActiveCampaign, Infusionsoft, Entreport and Autopilot. Out of those I have extensively used Infusionsoft, ActiveCampaign and Entreport and I have only briefly used Autopilot. Autopilot is fairly new so they can be, you know, they might be innovative and different in good ways, but they're also less proven than the others. 
Infusionsoft, I absolutely cannot recommend. They have too many problems. Ontraport, I used a long time ago, didn't particularly like, also had various technical problems, and Active Campaign has been the most reliable out of those and also the most flexible. And that is why that's my recommendation. Now, I link below two more resources that are useful and also more details and a comparison between Infusionsoft and Active Campaign. If you want to learn a bit more about that, um, all of that will be below this video. In the meantime, if you have any other questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.